So guys, we're now on day uh, seven, and uh, well, we're out looking for some herbs. Um, well, we've already found some stuff. We're literally like just next to the road here, which is uh, and then far away from like some mountains. You see buses, people are over there. But um, yes, yeah, so we've seen some a couple of diamondback rattlesnakes today, uh, and we've also found some lizards because we're technically in New Mexico at the moment. So we found some, because uh, we've just gone over the, the borders, literally like 20 miles that way. Um, so we found some, uh, well, why don't we do some flipping of rocks whilst we do this? But I found some uh, collar lizards, and we've also found some uh, crevices spine lizard, uh, which are only native to New Mexico. Hmm. Right, let's flip a few rocks, see, see what we can see. Um, See if there's anything cooler. We've got a nice burrow here. This could be something pretty cool to flip. So. Mm, it's got a really good burrow system, probably a mammal one. But yeah. Uh, on, I want to find you guys one thing whilst. Same again here. Oh, we've got a little beetle there. Mm. Nope, nothing. Nothing. This might go on for a while, guys. Nothing. Okay, let's do this one last one. Here. Got some mating beetles. So there you go, that's what I'll leave you guys on. Some little beetles. Uh, so, uh, I can't remember what we're doing later, but yeah, I'll see you then. Uh, they've got Collared lizard here. Sting is toxic. <laughs> oh, please try and sting. Yes. Oh yeah, they are impressive. Uh, so, I didn't catch this, but it was a snake that I really wanted to see this trip, so thank you very much, Emily. Uh, and I think a lot of You're people want to see it. It's quite a rarity on this trip, apparently this is the only second one they've ever seen. And it, it's surprisingly in a habitat where you wouldn't really expect it. But uh, this here is the ringneck snake. Uh, they are a rear fanged uh, venomous snake. But I think they're just like an absolute beauty. If you, there you go, you can quite like, try and get some B-roll, but they've got beautiful... Uh, ring around their neck and then they've just got the the bright orange belly in this one with the red at the bottom and uh, let's see if I can I don't know if it'll curl up its tail but it's kind of a de defense kind of a, there you go a little bit but yeah I thought to show you guys this uh, yeah, uh, pass it on to somebody else because I think everyone else wants to have a go so yeah let's see what else we can find It's a lot bigger. In the west they get quite big. Look at that. Yeah, I know. One, go. 
So we've just finished up this location and as I was vlogging earlier, uh, well, we'd barely found much. But now, it, it's been awesome. And yeah, I've obviously just vlogged that and I've shown you guys that. But yeah, so uh, we saw the ringneck snake and we just got a uh, green toad. So it was, it was a pretty bowler um, sight actually, like, but not much, just, just off the road uh, along a disused railroad. So yeah, let's see what else we can get. So guys, we're just coming to the end, like, well, again, of day seven, a really great day, a really lovely day, but also a really long day. Uh, so, uh, highlights of the day, obviously, the ringneck snake, like, that was one of the beauties that I really wanted to see when we went out here, and somehow we made it, and did, uh, just added a uh, viridus, so the prairie rattlesnake to our list of species so that takes us up to now nine uh, rattlesnake species uh, which is pretty cool uh, what else did we see we saw our first species of collar lizard and we added a new frog to it uh, into our species no sorry a new toad uh, great plains toad so yeah it was really good to get out tonight and stuff um, but I am pooped and tired as everything, so I'm just gonna lie back here, turn the light off, and go to bed. Night.